Good morning. Today we are going to learn addition and subtraction in metric measures. Now you are thinking why am I taking both these operations together? We have learned basic addition. Okay, where we add carry over. We've done basic subtraction where we borrow and subtract. Now we know the concept of, of subtraction. What we do is when we are doing money, we just put the value here, rupees and paise. When uh, we do metric measures, we put these units here. So the basic concept of addition and subtraction is very clear with you. Just the thing is that we put meter centimeters or we put rupees paise. Okay, but the border, the bottom line is that the principle is the same. So let's work on this one. 9 plus 6 is 15. 5 and 4 is 9 plus 1, 10. Now this one I carry over in the meters house. I don't put any point or anything here. In rupees and paise what we do, we put the point to demarcate what is rupees and paise. But here there is no point, we just leave a space in between. 6 plus 1, 7 and 7, 14. 8 and 1, 9, 9 and 9, 18. 5 and 1, 6 plus 4, 10. So my answer will be 1084 meters and 05 centimeters. Okay? Now, let's do the subtraction here. 7 minus 8, not possible. So I borrow, I borrow this, I get 17. So let's count 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 9. 8 minus 2 is 6. Again, I leave this gap to demarcate meters and centimeters. I borrow here, I make this 7, carry 1 here, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. How many fingers? 4. Again I borrow. 17 minus 9. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. How many fingers do I have? 5 plus 3, 8. So, 8. 2 minus. So, my answer is 284 meters and 69 centimeters. So what is the basic principle here? Let's repeat it again. It's just the units that change. Okay, this name changes to meters, centimeters, but the procedure or method is the same that we follow. Thank you for watching the video.